Hi everyone. So I wanted to share with you a new Kodi add-on. Um, uh, it's it's been worked on the last uh, week or two. It's now in a repo, repo, so it's easy to install and easy to keep up to date. And basically, this add-on um, lets you watch live Irish television. So um, let me show you how to install it. We'll go to this address, which I'll post in the description below and download the zip file to uh, help us install the repository. Now that that's downloaded, we will just open up Kodi. And in Kodi, go to System, Add-on, Install from zip file, and then navigate to wherever you downloaded it. And there is the repository there. So that's installed. Once that's installed, we'll go up to install from repository and down to the new repository here. And we'll show pick video add-ons, IETV now, and then install. So um, I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. My options here are to uninstall it, but I'll just check for an update. So all, all good. And um, that's really it. So we have videos, video add-on, and some things to note in the settings. So um, the stream will come from one of two places. Um, you can have HD or SD. Um, if you turn the guide on or off, the if the guide's off, it will uh, launch a bit quicker, but then you can't see what's on. And if you have an RTV account, you can log in to use that. I think this is necessary for people in the UK who want to watch Irish television. The account isn't too expensive, it's like five ninety nine. But you don't need that if you're in Ireland. So uh, we'll go into IETV now. So this is modelled off of US TV now and UK TV now. So basically it's just for live Irish uh, stations. So it's taken a little bit of time to open because it's gathering the guide information. So here's all our stations, RT1, All Ireland on, uh, RT1 plus 1, RT2, The Walking Dead's on, RT Junior's close, RT News, UTV is also news now, Champions League on TV3, the highlights, 3E, TG4, Irish TV and Eruptus. So all of these um, work, so just to demonstrate, let's play RT1 in ST, SD quality. Okay, still loading. Working away still. There we go. I'm doing very jobs. RT1 and uh, for example, TV3. Champions League highlights. Let's have a look here. Um, actually, it should. It's important to say here that TV3 and 3E. There's a small, I think, Cody-related bug here. That um, if we go into settings now, um, TV3 and 3E for me plays fine from the official site on um, my Windows 10 um, laptop, but on my Raspberry Pi laptop, um, the stream gets stuck at the end of the ads. And some people have reported this on their Android device as well. And I think the Kodi version on um, Android and Raspberry Pi might be some versions away from the current Windows 10 version. So I suspect that this is a problem with Kodi. Anyways, if you have an older version of Kodi, if you just switch it um, to RTV. And let's get the guide off for a second there. So it'll load a little bit quicker. So now... Um, and T3 will play, but the source is coming from a different website. Um, so it should go straight into TV3 now. The previous source was um, uh, taken from TV3's website. They put ads at the start of the stream, um, and this is where the... For a great award-winning mortgage is over. Mortgages from KB... ...the end of it, so... Um, and coincidentally enough, um, we started TV3 in the morning. More games than ever before when you upgrade to Sky Sports for just 20 euro a month for a whole year. Watch more. So like if 
I switched to Free E, which also has a similar problem. I guess because of the time now, we're in the middle of an ad break, quarter to 11. Uh, so that's really it. All these streams should work. Um, I've tested them out. I watched um, the Ireland game this week. It was uninterrupted. So the, there shouldn't be any problem here. And uh, these should all work fine. If there is uh, problems, please let me know and I'll try and have them fixed up. And um, that's really it. So enjoy that.